Doctors and government officials now say that one person who tests positive for the new coronavirus could potentially if infect another three. This means that this virus could spread like wildfire, especially in highly populated areas in Kenya. But just how does this virus move from one person to another? Asha Mwilu explains. Efforts to contain the spread of the new coronavirus in Kenya is centered around the first seven patients to have tested positive. We know that patient one came into contact with at least 27 people, all of whom were traced and tested. Two of these 27 contacts tested positive for COVID-19. 36 other contacts were traced to patient two and three. By Thursday, government had tested 173 people, Although 166 contacts have so far tested negative, there could be more of the seven patients' contacts that are yet to be found and screened. If people have been in contact with them or in contact with any of the seven that we've been told about, develop symptoms, and again, they should call the hotline number immediately. Don't jump into my tattoo, you know, because that's a closed space. Experts like Dr. Lois Sombajo, who heads the Infectious Disease Unit at Kenyatta National Hospital, advise that anyone who has traveled recently to any country affected by the novel coronavirus should self-quarantine for at least two weeks. Just because you're saying self-quarantine doesn't mean you're saying you have it. We're just saying in the event that you came into contact, uh, contact with someone who has it, then I come home to my family and my friends and maybe I interact with 10 people closely. Each of these 10 people has their own social network. So a child may go out to play with other children, you know, a spouse or a brother or a sister may go out to work or to a bar or to another entertainment joint and each of them interacts with another 10 people. So my contacts of 10 now have 100 contacts in total and if each of those 100 contacts also interacts with another 10 people then in no time we have 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 contacts and that's how we've seen outbreaks developing. It starts with a small cluster. With these fears of the possibility of mass infection in Kenya, we sought to speak to the World Health Organization here in Nairobi. Countries have sort of sporadic individual cases at the beginning, like Kenya is having at the moment. So you have one case or two cases, another one case coming in, mostly importations. And then once community spread establishes itself, it actually goes up in an exponential curve. That's what happened to most countries, including Italy, Iran, United Kingdom, United States, and even South Korea. South Africa is currently experiencing a surge in confirmed cases and may have to take drastic measures like a possible lockdown. We can expect hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe tens of thousands cases in Kenya, so they should not be complacent. If people do have symptoms, they should really, what we call, self-isolate. They should remove themselves from the uh, family, from the people they're staying with, if possible, in a different room. So in essence, if a person who has been exposed to the virus either by travel or by contact with an infected person does the responsible thing and self-quarantine, the chain of infection is broken and the virus can be contained. Maybe I live in a house with 10 people and we have two rooms. They can't dedicate a room to me. That's in, it's important to call that hotline number 719 so that you're directed to a place where you can quarantine. You're sharing all kinds of fake media or doing hoarding, buying or anything like that, that's not helpful. At the same time, they should not be complacent. They should be prudent. They should be aware this disease is around and will be coming. As this virus begins its course in many African countries, the reality of our context, such as overcrowding and poor healthcare facilities, will prove the ultimate test. However, it's clear that containing this virus will primarily depend on how you and I behave over the next couple of weeks. Asha Mwilu, Citizen TV, Nairobi.